So, I did something extremely stupid yesterday. Um, so, and um, I don't really know how to feel about it because I feel like, well, I'll, just expl I'll explain it to you on why I'm having a problem. If you can hear me over this guy's music. It's not bad actually, but so we're at the beach. I had planned to fly today for basically the whole week. I knew the weather was gonna be perfect. Yesterday, I go for a run. I got my workout in outside because it was gorgeous yesterday too. And um, after my run, I still had some time left on my lunch break. So I have my one wheel with me and I go for a quick ride. Um, get back from my one wheel ride, go behind my truck because I took my shoes off and put them in the back of my truck. Hopped in the bed, put my shoes on, got distracted doing something. I think I was on a phone call with my little brother. Got in my truck to finish the conversation and then just drove away, assuming that I had the one wheel in the back seat, which is where I always put it. My one wheel lives in the back seat of my truck or in the garage at its charging station. So didn't even think to check anything, right? So today when I'm getting ready to come to the beach, um, I go to look for it and it's gone. And I'm trying to think, I was like, I rode yesterday. I know I had it yesterday. It only goes in two places, my truck or that charging station. And then I realized what I did. I realized I forgot it there. Um, so it's gone. I, my wife was on her way home from the gym. When I realized that, she was right there at the trail. Um, I said, could you pull in that parking lot, see if it's there? And she pulls in and it's gone. So um, I'm looking all over Marketplace. I'm looking all over Craigslist to see. Um, I'm hoping that somebody found it, maybe turned it in. You know, you got always hope there's that good person that found it, but maybe someone found it and they're just thinking they're lucky and they get a free one wheel. Either way, that's a $1,800 mistake on my part. And this is so me, you guys. This is just story of my life. I forget stuff like this all the time. I mean, I've, I, I, I meticulously have checklists that I go through. That's why I have a checklist for my paramotor. I have, I mean, I write everything down at work. I have notebooks full of stuff. If someone says something, I write it down because I know I'm going to forget it. Um, I forget my, I just, I just forget stuff everywhere. This is just my life, man. I'm always losing my phone, my keys, my wallet. Um, but then the other half of me thinks, well, dude, you're so lucky also. Like I got two amazing kids they are so gorgeous. Like I'm so lucky did did nothing for that. That's just luck. Um, they're amazing. They're healthy. You know, I live in this place, um, you know, near the beach and, um, I got a good job, you know, so I got everything else going. So when stuff like this happens, I feel weird about being bummed out about it um or i don't i don't know i don't know how i feel so i'm bummed but it's like well the grand scheme of things does it matter does 1800 dollars matter it matters now but is it gonna matter when i'm 60 no right so i'm bummed out i don't have a one wheel um and i'll tell you what else bothers me if it was just me if i was single didn't have a wife and kids and i lost my one wheel for example 1800 dollars gone i really wouldn't care I'd be bummed out $1,800 is gone, but I would know that's not gonna affect me in the long run. I'd probably go buy another one, but there's no way I can do that with wife and kids. I just can't. When I lose or when I lose money or do something stupid like this, I feel like I'm affecting them, right? Because the $1,800 I spent to get by the one wheel was our money and it's gone now and I can't justify dropping another $1,800 on it, right? I just can't do that. It's the wrong thing to do. So I know not only did I lose it and that, hey, I got that $1,800 sting, but I, I'm not gonna get another one, at least right now. There's just no way. Um, so, and I love that oh, damn one wheel, man. One wheel and my paramotor are my two like possessions that I uh, admire the most. But again, those are their they're possessions that can be replaced. So um, that's what I'm feeling. It's a weird feeling. And again, I'm out here at the beach. I'm about to go fly. I got to work from the beach today because um, I just had meetings all day. So I can call into those from wherever. Um, so yeah, man, I'm just gonna, you know, move on keep going it's i feel like there's people watching this like having way worse problems deaths in the family things like that um you know and i've gone through those two obviously but you know this is just other shit that matters more so it's gone i'm bummed but it's not gonna i'm not gonna let it ruin my my day or my week or my life so um yeah man i don't know i'm gonna get in the air take you guys along with me this is the saddest <laughs> coolest flight i'm gonna go on right now i feel weird but we'll see you guys in a minute Got 
to uh, record the launch, but that seems to be the case. <laughs> surprise, surprise, right? Tom forgot to do something. So, I don't know, man. This, if I were to call like my mom or anyone in my family, anyone who knows me, and were to tell them this story about losing my one wheel for getting it, they'd be like, Thomas John. They middle name me for sure. Because this is what I do, man. I, I honestly hate to admit it. And it, it bugs the hell out of me. And it makes me nervous too because forgetting a one wheel, that sucks. Forgetting a windsock, like I do all the time, that sucks. But when am I gonna forget something that doesn't just suck? And my brain moles over that like you would not believe. When am I gonna forget something that affects my boys or my wife? And dude, that really messes with me. I worry about it constantly. And I've experimented with like tons of different nootropics, things like that, trying, you know, more sleep, this, that. But how much sleep can you get when you work full time, kids that don't sleep, and then flying addiction, you know what I mean? So I've, I've done a lot of stuff, um, but this has been the case with me for a long time. It's definitely not as bad as it used to be. I, I think I'm better. As I've gotten older, I've slowed things down a little bit, but. Uh, the bottom line is, is that I do it. I still do it. Um, and I think at a rate that's higher than the average person. Now, um, full disclosure, I don't know if this has anything to do with it. So, I don't exhibit any other symptoms of what I'm about to tell you, but here's the truth. I've got probably six concussions. I think the number is six in my whole life. Uh, mountain biking accidents, motorcycle accidents, uh, what else? Football. As a, as in high school, I got a couple concussions in football. So I've got some serious like head trauma issues. And that worries the hell out of me too because Alzheimer's disease runs in my family. And uh, I just, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for that. Or, or maybe this is it, right? Maybe this, this forgetfulness is the onset of it. I don't know. But <clears throat> both my grandparents on my dad's side have got it and died with it died not knowing who anybody was. It's horrible to watch. Uh, and now my dad has got it, and he got it instantaneously. Like, my dad got sick a year and a half ago, and it was just immediate. Like, one day he was fine, and then the next week I saw him, he was slurring his speech. I says, Dad, what's wrong? He thought, thought he had heat stroke. I thought he had Lyme disease. You know, and my dad was not the most responsible person in his whole life, so he didn't have insurance his whole life, no, no insurance. Uh, never took care of himself. He was an excessive, excessive drinker. And, you know, when this happens, it just scared the hell out of me. I was like, oh my God, man. Like this, it's just falling like dominoes on the Kubot side. And it scares the hell out of me. Now my dad, we took him to all the doctors. And so, so my dad has dementia now. He's 60, 62 or 63. And he's got pretty severe dementia. Like he can't remember my wife's name ever and they've known each other for 15 years he can't remember my kids names which are his grandkids so it's it's messed up but in any case <laughs> it's getting like this is a really depressing video <laughs> sorry um, in any case he, he got sick and you know we started taking up the doctors and everything and what they what, what all the doctors ended up saying was they're like wow this is really weird he's too young to have this and all the doctors said the same thing they all asked the question was he a drinker did he drink and I'm always like, yeah, he drank a lot, like all the time. He's an alcoholic. And, um, you know, then they say, okay, well, that's it. That's what it is. And I have a close friend whose dad seems to be exhibiting the same symptoms. Um, you know, her, her dad was or is an alcoholic and is kind of exhibiting the same stuff. So at least I have that. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm actually not a big drinker at all. I drink in college. And then after that, uh, pretty much don't really drink. I'll drink, you know, a couple drinks here and there when I go out. I'm not opposed to it, but I don't I don't have beer during the week or anything like that or drinks during the week. Occasionally I have a glass of wine, but it's very rare. Um, and that's just because it, I get really bad hangovers. Like if I have two beers, the next day I wake up, I feel like like shit. <laughs> um, and, and that's the bottom line is when I drink, I, it just doesn't feel good. I go to the gym mostly every day. So, you know, the next day at the gym, I'll be slow, and I'm like, well, that was dumb drinking last night. You know, why did I do that? So I got I got that going for me that I'm not I'm not an alcoholic, so maybe, maybe I won't get it. But I don't know. Like, 
when I lost the one wheel, that's kind of what triggered in my head again. I was like, damn it, again, like, again, I did something like this. And then I tell myself, slow down, Tom, slow down. Do like aviation and forgetfulness, terrible mixes, terrible mixes. Like, when am I gonna forget something that, you know, is dangerous? And I, I already said this, but this is, this is what's going on in my head. And by the way, this happened like today. I realized I lost my own wheel today. So my, this video is not planned. This is all like off the cuff. And this is exactly what I'm feeling at the moment. So um, that's it guys. I, I, like I said, I'm not, don't feel bad for me, please, please. If anyone is, no one probably is. Everyone's like, screw you, Tom. You're flying on the beach in March where the rest of the country is freezing cold still. I get it. And I, I feel that way too. I'm grateful. I don't feel bad for myself. It's just an $1,800 mistake. Bummer. That's what it is. It's a bummer. Um, and, you know, the bottom line is my wife is not mad at me or anything like that. So it's not like it's, you know, I'm, I'm the one that's mad at myself. So I, I'm, I'm going to say I'm over it. Just, just get the hell over it. Look where I'm at. You know, I'm doing something that 0.0001% of the population ever gets to do in their life. Flying over the Atlantic Ocean on a beautiful, beautiful day with <laughs> onshore breeze. And uh, you know what, man? It's not so bad. It's not all bad. So I'll find a way to get another one wheel. Like, And by the way, I could just go buy another one wheel. But then it, I don't feel the sting. Does that make sense? Like, I don't... Like, that's not... It's not enough. I can't just go out and buy another one wheel. Like, I need this to sting a little bit, almost, so that I, I remember it. So, what I'll do is probably just set a goal for when I'm going to get get another one. Um, and uh, we'll figure it out from there, man. I don't got to figure it out right now. I'm flying, enjoying this weather. Leg's got a little bit of a tan today. Does that show up on the screen? Look at that. Looking good. All right. Uh, if you guys made it this far into the video... Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that jazz. The video's not over. We're going to still fly. Something crazy might happen. Maybe I'll lose my Insta360 cam in the ocean, and that'll be the title of the video. Who knows? But uh, um, <laughs> my buddy Andy's getting ready down there. So we got some fun ahead of us. We got over two hours for sunset. So we are all good. See ya. Bye. Okay, which way is the camera? It doesn't matter. So, <laughs> and that'll blow my wing away for sure. So, as you can see, I'm happy I've forgotten about my one wheel, but not really. Um, yeah, landed on, I don't even know what island I'm on, but I landed out here to um, hot swap my GoPro battery because um, we're having an amazing time and we have like an hour left till sunset. So this is one of those perfect beach days a light 8 to 10 mile an hour breeze off the water a little chilly wish I had a long sleeve shirt, but um, Just gorgeous man um, off seasons. There's not many people out here on these beaches uh, And it's just an amazing time. So I'm gonna get back up there with Andy
Look at that, man. Gorgeous sunset. Uh, that's about all you can ask for, I think. Perfect night. Um, yeah. Like I said, it's not all bad, man. Um, I'm definitely bummed, and hopefully I'll learn a lesson from being a moron and doing too quick and not taking care of things, but um, only time will tell. But gorgeous night, beautiful sunset. So lucky to live here, so lucky to live in America, <laughs> so lucky to have wife and kids and um, a job. Um, you know, I'm, I'm happy. So anyway, um, if you guys made it this far in the video, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that jazz, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Uh, well, they're, they're called paragliders. So this is just paragliding with an engine. Usually paragliding, you don't have an engine, but we don't have mountains here, so we need an engine to get up. Nope. Well, I don't want to keep you. You're good? No, yeah. I was hoping that you guys had some sort of... If this is running, you'll probably be on YouTube asking us questions. So okay. look up my name on YouTube. Uh, yeah, yeah. What's your name? Tom Kubat.